Oh, Travis Scott at the Super Bowl, right? So, um, Travis Scott decided um, in his infinite knowledge to perform at the Super Bowl, even though the entirety of black Twitter and black culture were telling him not to. Um, the reason being because, of course, uh, most black entertainers are kind of abstaining from supporting the NFL due to the treatment of Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick, as you know, a few, is there a few, maybe it's a couple of years ago now, isn't it? Maybe it's been a year, maybe it's probably been more than a year. Um, uh, he took a stand against police brutality that was happening, that was kind of springing up in the US. We kind of, it kind of seemed like every other week we'll get another video of a cop being a little bit too physical when it came to um, arresting or kind of questioning uh, black people um, there was a couple of high profile deaths that happened too so in the terms of a protest Colin Kaepernick decided to take the knee oh no I think he, ref he at first he didn't stand for the national anthem and then I think uh, on the advice of a veteran that he spoke to um, in terms of kind of like what that meant to soldiers that are fighting abroad he decided they came to an agreement that maybe the most respectful to thing to do was actually take a knee but you know the US are a bit crazy or a bit super patriotic and they kind of took the whole him taking a knee as a kind of middle finger to the United States and it kind of spiraled into another conversation that had nothing to do with the original intention that Colin Kaepernick was doing but essentially you know protests by and large they're meant to disrupt right they're not meant to be friendly they're not meant to fit into a particular kind of mold they're not meant to be like PG they're not meant to be um, um, as you like them protests by their very nature are meant to be uh, disruptive right we're seeing the whole thing coming with the yellow vest people in um, paris or in france by and large right recently i think the other week uh, a yellow vest protester got blinded in one eye one of the main people that was kind of organizing it i think he says he was targeted by the french police and he was shot with the rubber bullet and they blinded him essentially in one eye so we see that effectively like you know act effective protest requires you having to really risk something right in order to kind of make some change and colin kaepernick essentially risked his career because you know nfl um teams quite similar to most team most kind of professional um sports outfits in the world don't want any kind of unwarranted or unneeded press or unneeded kind of attention on their team so they kind of felt an infinite wisdom that he was bringing too much other eyes on their on their organization so they dropped him i don't think no i don't think they signed him and then another another team wouldn't sign him and again i'm not an nfl expert but from what i've heard online colin kaepernick is as good or if not better than a lot of the people that are starting in his position as quarterback but he wasn't signed by another organization because they don't want to, to deal with the kind of blowback of having this person on their team and having the kind of you know fox news people go crazy about it so essentially he got he's out of a job now because of the stand he took and because of that hip-hop artists decided you know what we're not going to perform at your show because you know for the most part the nfl is like maybe i don't know 80 percent black anyway so um a lot of the people that um so it's quite synonymous with you know hip-hop culture a lot of people that are in hip-hop support really some of the biggest nfl teams but in order to kind of protest um the fact that you know the nfl teams aren't signing uh, um Colin Kaepernick and the fact that Roger Goodell, the kind of, you know, the main spokesperson or the president of the NFL isn't taking it yet or hasn't really said that much apart from a press conference he had the other day. Everyone kind of abstained from performing there. But Travis Scott decided to go go and do it, right? Which was a bit weird at the first, right? I was like, what's this guy doing? But if you listen to him in his interviews, you'd see that Travis Scott isn't the most politically aware person out there. I dare, dare, I'll dare to say, which, you no, know, I'm not, not mean to be rude or anything, but he's not the most, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the box anywhere when it comes to that side of thing. And maybe by and large, you know, he's had a really great, he's had an amazing year. He's had probably one of his best albums to date. He's doing one of the best stage productions you probably see out there with his Astro World tour. Uh, he's married a girl of his dreams. Um, he's got a kid. Um, he's kind of had one of the best years, like a couple of years in his life. So maybe he kind of wanted to really put uh, a period on it and really kind of cap it off by performing at, a, at the Super Bowl, halftime Super Bowl show. And maybe growing up, it was one of the biggest things to him. So even with all the kind of backlash that's happening on social media, he decided to do it anyway. And he read it out pretty well, I think. He didn't really make any comment um, apart from towards the uh, when it was approaching. I think some of his team leaked that he had spoken to Colin Kaepernick and it came to an agreement. And Colin Kaepernick said unequivocally, no, he didn't speak to me, which then, you know, obviously meant that Travis was maybe lying we don't know what to believe but he read it out pretty well he kind of didn't comment on it and he kind of just did the performance anyway and went but considering the fact that his performance was pretty lackluster i watched it and the sound wasn't good that they kind of fucked him up in that regard it it didn't seem like it was worth all the hassle to perform at the nfl halftime show and added to the fact that when you see his outfit when you see what he fucking wore when you see what he wore you're gonna be like oh my god why the fuck did he even bother and yeah the outfit is um the outfit is interesting to say the least. Um, I'm going to try and get it up here on the screen. Let me see if I can fit it on here. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, um, the outfit is interesting, I'm going to say. Um, so, he's got on, I think it's what? Is it a leaks? Where's it got on? He's got Louis Vuitton by Virgil and a leaks. Um, 
on, right? And this is from a, the Celebrity Advice page, one of my favorite pages on Instagram. And the outfit is shockingly bad. He's got the he's got that he's got that Louis Vuitton piece that um, Virgil did for Louis Vuitton now with the Michael Jackson line recently uh, across his waist, which is I think originally I think it was on the model across the chest. He's got this weird kind of leather vest thing on um, with a shirt underneath his hat, leather trousers and those shitty Jordan sevens. Like, oh, it's just one of probably one of the worst outfits I've seen Travis when he's always been a bit hit and miss with his, with his outfits. But lately he's done a really good job, um, especially on tour. He's kind of had, you know, a pretty good run. But I, again, the performance was probably quite dead. The outfit looks shocking. Right. And I'm just wondering, like, was it worth all the trouble? Was it worth having people think you're a sellout, having people kind of question your integrity, having people think that you're selfish and self-centered, which I don't really agree with. I think everyone's got their, you know, their MO. Sometimes he probably just doesn't give a shit. You know, no one's really kicking up a fuss that Big Boy performed, right? No one really cares about that. So I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me. It's just weird to me. All that fuss to go to do the halftime show and you turn up wearing that kind of outfit and you turn up performing the way he did. Um, I just not. I just don't understand personally. Um, you've got a couple more pictures here. Uh, that kind of illustrate just how bad of an outfit it was overall. It just looks shocking. He's got like a, I think a football glove on. Um, it just doesn't look good. Simple as that. It just does not look good at all. Um, again, I'm not too sure what the thinking was behind it personally. Me no fan. Again, he's had a great year, but I just don't know whether or not it was worth all the trouble to kind of do this again um, or to do this anyway in general with everyone kind of saying what they're saying on social. But again, maybe you shouldn't care, right? Maybe it shouldn't. you shouldn't bother what people are going to say. And if you think you've you've had a great year and you want to really cap it off in style and you want to perform at a Super Bowl and it really means a lot to you. And I think he's a real big sports fan, isn't he? Whenever I've seen him on the side of the, um, on, a, uh, on court side watching a basketball game, he's always kind of, you know, really animated and whatever, jumping all over the place, which is cool because most of his celebrities watching those games, they're always just sitting there just like a letting the time go by and it kind of just seems like another kind of way to kind of market themselves but he kind of really seems passionate about sports so maybe he just didn't give a shit you know fuck it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take the licks but yeah man questionable that he performed there the outfit is shocking but hey what can you do